How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today it is time to look into post double XP investing. So this is the time where right after double XP ends, a lot of items go down in price and become a really good deal to pick up for either personal use or to invest and make some money. I'm going to run through a bunch of items today and also show you their graphs and everything, all the information you need to know in order to be able to invest for yourself. Also today, as well as every red day for the rest of this month, we're doing a giveaway in our Discord server. So all you have to do is put a comment down below in today's video of what items are you considering investing into? And if none, then why not? Also make sure you hit like and subscribe and then enter in our discord in our announcement section and then you can win. All right, let's jump on into it. So I've got my screen nice and zoomed in, that way you guys can easily read everything that's going on. So if it looks a little bit weird, that's why. I just wanna make sure you guys can read it. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump on into the Grand Exchange. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of different items, including their uh, graphs and everything. That way you can see why it is a good investment or maybe not a good investment. And I'll walk you through a lot of different choices you can make. Also too, if you are a Patreon supporter in our Discord server, I did release in our Investing Mastery section a, a doc. And in that doc, you guys can see a lot more items, including the average target to sell at on the next double XP in comparison to the previous double XPs, as well as how many to invest in, and also a good idea of what to buy them at. So if you guys want a really in-depth way of how to invest, then feel free to check that out. Investing in general in RuneScape is definitely uh, something you need to be doing if you want to be able to build up a large amount of wealth, because essentially you're going to have a lot of that gold setting aside and if it's not doing anything then it's not really going to be making you any money but if you are investing then that will be making money while you are doing nothing the average investments um, size that we like the average investment profit that we're going to be aiming for is going to be something around 30 percent uh, some items will definitely be well above 30 percent but that is in general the um the ones we want to aim for if we do aim for anything below 30 percent in general then it must be something that is very 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 solid and reliable because obviously if i can always make 20 percent then i will probably put some money into that because you know it's always 20 percent um but that is what you can expect if you were to look at the uh, investment Investing Master Doc. Um, there is a lot of items on there. So if you were to invest, let's say you were somebody that had 10 billion gold and you want to invest, you'd make anywhere from 30% to maybe 50% on average. So you can make three to five billion extra gold with that gold while doing literally nothing. Also, too, um, this is go to go with uh, both that doc and today's video is that um, you don't have to wait until the next double XP to sell your investments. Um, that is just a general target. You can also just sell some stuff early. So if you see something that spiked up in price way before double XP, like some items actually have done, um, then you can go ahead and sell those at that time. Also too, uh, right after double XP is generally a time where a lot of items will go way, way down, they'll bottom out. So if you just wanna wait for them to recover to their like 30 day average margin or something like that, you can also do that as well. You're not required to wait till double XP, but a lot of people with plenty of extra wealth actually do like to wait till double XP because that does ensure the most profit. A really quick ex example of that would be, let's say you're buying an item right now for 2000 and then after it recovers to its normal value, it goes to like 2700. That's a 700 profit each, which is really nice, but maybe on next double XP, they go to 3500. So you might want to buy them at 2700. So that just kind of would help you determine whether or not you want to wait until the next double XP or to sell them sooner. Uh, and that will also depend too, just on the amount of wealth you have to use. So if you are somebody who has a smaller amount of wealth, then it would definitely make sense for you to sell things earlier and not wait quite until double XP. Um, you just kind of have to go along with what makes sense to you. I also want to say this video is going to be a little bit longer and that's because I'm going to be packing a lot of information into it. So I will um, try to add some timestamps at the bottom and that way that will help you to guide you through it. But there will be a lot of information in this because I want to give you guys as much information as I possibly can because this right here will make you a lot of money while you are chilling. Okay, I'll give you guys some more tips and stuff as we go through items. Let's go ahead and start jumping on through it. Let's go look at my history right here. So I did just instantly sell and uh, and I, I instant sold and also bought some stuff just to get some good 
examples of what's going on. Although I have been watching items for several days now and I have been loading it up in the Google Doc, so um, we already have some history with that. But what I did is I went ahead and did these right this second. So it was like right before hitting record. So these are the freshest, freshest prices examples that we're gonna use today. And that way we can, you know, just see what things are doing. So let's go ahead and jump onto it with Super Ranging Potion. Um, that was the first thing I tested. So Super Ranging Potion, uh, it is something that is always in extremely high demand for people who are doing herb lore, so it does make a good investing target. So, Super Energy Potion 3, I did sell them. Now, here's something that you do need to keep in mind, too, while you are price checking, is that when you take an item from your inventory and you do sell it in the Grand Exchange nowadays, what happens with the tax right here is that it will show you the amount that you got, like... It'll show you the amount that you sold it for after the tax. So what you actually have to do when you instantly sell a super ranging potion, for example, let's say it sells for 6568. It, it like it shows you that you got 6568. That's not actually what it sold for. It actually sold for the 6702 or whatever. So you need, you have to look in the history to see what it actually sold for. This can be a really big problem if you forget because if, for example, with the super ranging potion, if I was to instantly sell a super ranging potion and it shows me 6568 and then I go back in to buy them for 6568 because that's the low that I think they are, they probably won't buy because it actually sold for 6702. It's super confusing. I really hope they fix that in the future. But anyway, just remember to always use the history and not what it showed in the actual sale here. That's another reason why too, I did not like show you the live sales because I would have to clear them all out because this is the real price right here. So anyway, let's go ahead and go jump on the Super Ranging Potion though. Super Ranging Potion does sell currently for 6702 instant sell. And let's look at the graph to see what that looks like about whether that is good or not. So on the graph for the Super Ranging Potion, which you probably know this by now, but if you wanna find the graph for anything, all you have to do is just simply type it into the RuneScape Wiki. You can also search it in the, uh, like in game in the chat bar by clicking the Wiki button and then typing it in, which is probably the fastest and easiest way to do it. But then all you gotta do is once you're on the page for the item, just scroll down and look at the chart. For the general, for most potions, by the way, when it comes to investing, I do recommend investing into the threes. And this is just because a lot more threes come into the game than fours do. A lot of, of potions are used in fours, like for the training themselves, like for example, prayer renewals and stuff like that, they're used as a four. So people will buy those. Um, so what I would recommend you do though, is to invest in the threes and then decant them to the fours to sell them for certain ones. You just kind of have to figure out, you know, which one are people really buying. Um, if you sit there waiting for the fours, a lot of times you're gonna have a lot harder time buying them because they're just, they're just not as frequently sold into the game. Because when I'm crafting Super Ranging Potion 3s, I in general will be getting three dose potions. And so that is what I'm going to sell them into the Grand Exchange for if I'm going to sell them for, you know, whatever, when I'm done training. So anyway, coming down here, we just click on the enlarge chart. And on the enlarge chart, we can look at the different uh, date here. I'm not gonna show you this for every single thing. I just wanna give you guys a good example of, of how to search for the different times and prices and everything. Um, you can, you, you don't really have to look up when the double XP's are because you can see when the big spikes are or when other game events are. You can, just, you can literally see when the spikes are. But if you want to know when the double XP events actually have happened in order to do your research to find out what prices will go up to. All you have to do is also in the RuneScape Wiki, just type in DXP or DXP Live and you will find the dates there. Anyway, looking right here too. Um, oh, last thing about the graph and double XPs is that um, we want to use the most uh, recent like most recent prices as possible. So if we're looking at looking at double XP investments, I don't want to look like look click on all and go like back here to like 2014. That's not going to be too accurate as far as like, oh, hey, these could go up to 15.5 or 17,000 or whatever. Like, that's cool. They probably could go up to that, but that's not really relevant because that was, you know, a really long time ago. So we need to look at things that are like in general, like within the last year to six months, because that is like the current meta. That's the current game. So that's where we need to be looking. So according to our price that we just saw though, at 6.7K, as you can see that in the six month graph, that is almost an all time low. It's like, there was only like a very short period where they were below 6.7K. And so right off the bat, we already know that if we did buy them for 6.7K each, that you would be buying them at a very good price. Now, what you need to know next. So that is the first thing you wanna look at is, is the price I'm seeing a price that's good to buy at? And now we know, yes, it is good to buy at that price. 
The next step is okay. Now we're looking at what we can expect to sell these for. Do we think there's going to be a good enough profit that'll make it worth investing into these? Because just because there's a profit doesn't mean it's going to be a good enough profit because we don't have infinite gold. We need to be able to target items and invest in items that are going to make us the most. So um, what that's going to what's what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up looking at several different items using this strategy I'm showing you right here to figure out like what they what they w are good to buy for what they could be sold for and then picking out the best ones out of that and you also need to make sure you diversify too um what i mean by that is even like let's say super ranging pushing was the best thing you've ever seen it's like holy cow it's so much better than all the other items that doesn't mean it's the only thing you want to invest into because if you buy like, let's say you buy like a million super ranging potions, it's going to be very hard for you to sell off all of them when that double XP announcement time comes around because everybody is going to be selling their investments at that time and the price will start going down. And so you may not sell off all of your stock in time to get the best prices. So honestly, the fewer of an item you have, the more chance you have of getting rid of them before they're all gone, I'm sorry, before the price changes, but at the same time, <laughs> the more of an item you have that made you a good profit, the more money you're gonna make. So it has to be a good balance between the two. In general, when it comes to potions, I would recommend you buy like anywhere from a hundred to 200,000 of a potion. And then if it's something that's like amazing, then maybe invest like 300,000 of it. But once you get above like 300 K, um, unless you're just hitting it at a really good time and you're really on top of things, you're going to maybe miss that mark. You, you can definitely invest higher than that. I've definitely sold more than that off at a good time, but just like keep that idea in mind of I need to diversify so I don't get stuck with a pile of potions that just dump and then I'm sitting here with a loss on them now or I'm breaking even when I could have had my money in other things. If I have 10 potions that I invest into and I have 100,000 of each of those, I could sell all of those easily compared to selling a half a million or a million of one potion. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so looking right into it though, uh, we saw that right here they have a spike of 84.56, which is pretty good. Not a bad margin of 6.7 to 8,500. Now also too, when we're looking at the graphs, we need to remember that the graphs adapt to the current trade prices. So what this shows right here in the, in the, in the grand exchange of 84.28, that was the average at that time. That is not what they went up to. So maybe right here, they actually went to 9,000. So keep in mind that the, whatever they're actually selling for is higher than this. If we look right back here, then we saw that these went for like 11,000, like a little over 11,000. Well, the GE might have actually been like 12,000 at that time, maybe 13,000 at that time. And then they start going down afterwards. So just remember that the graph is always playing catch up. That is what a lot of people don't realize when they're looking at investing is that the graph is always playing catch up. So that also goes like into account right here too. We know the price we're buying them at right now is like a all time low for, for the last six months, but maybe right here during this dip, they actually sold for even less. So anyway, regardless, we do see that super ranging potions are a good investment. So once again, I'm not going to spend as much time on each item. I just want to make sure I lay down like a lot of the general ideas and things you need to look at because that way we can move quickly quicker through the rest of the items. I just don't want you to be like, you know, not knowing exactly what you're looking for because that would be kind of pointless for this video, right? All right. So prayer potion three, we have a sell at 6138. When I click on this too, I also see that they sold like, like right at mid right there. So 6138, 6138. Um, in general, when I am looking for double XP investments, like post double XP investments like this, what I want to see is I want to see an item selling under. So as we saw with the super ranging potion, we saw 7,002 and this was at 6702. Um, that it tells me that right now is a great, that, that most likely that's a good and good be a good time to buy them. When I see this prayer potion being like right at mid, it's like, mm, maybe, maybe it's good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and see what it shows. So come back over here to the graph. We do see the prayer potions are looking pretty good. We see that 5,600, 5,700 is what they previously went down to uh, in the last six months. So if we look at the one year too, we can see that overall um, our price is still very low for like the overall year. Um, but we are still seeing that it is a good price, but that it potentially could go a little bit lower when I see something like this. Um, and this is something actually like currently right now in the discord, I am actually posting a lot of, 
the stuff that I am actually buying because the things that I'm putting on our Google Doc and the things I'm showing you guys in this video, these are things I am also investing into um, because like obviously, <laughs> it, like if it's good, then I'm obviously gonna be buying it, like duh. And so I'm showing you things that are actually good. Um, but a strategy that I do do, and, I, and I, I tell people to, I am constantly telling people in the investing mastery to do also, is that if something is, it looks like this right here where it could go lower, then start your buy even lower than what your instant sell was. So if we were saying like 6138 was that price, but I'm seeing on the graph, they went down to like 5600, 5700, then I'm gonna probably start at like 5600 or 5700 and then see if they buy. If they don't buy, then I'll just bump it up a little bit after that, but I wanna try to get them for the best deal possible. Also too, if you do try buying them, like let's let's say for prayer potions, for example, you do you try 6,000, okay? And then it fills, like it fills within like a couple hours or whatever. Um, then it's probably time for you to bump that offer down. So if you are getting a lot of buys, consistent buys, um, then definitely lower your price. If you get any gold back, which means that at some point you had an instant buy, then you are for sure gonna wanna drop your price by a lot. But anyway, looking at prayer potions though, we do see that recently they did jump up to 73.50 or higher because this is playing catch up, remember that? Um, we did see that our price at 61.38 is not terrible, but the only thing is though is 61.38 to 73.50 is not that great of a margin. It's definitely not like the minimum that we're looking for. We do see over here that it goes to like 83.80 or 84.00. That's that is definitely quite a bit better. Um, but it's just it's just not the best margin. So what I would highly recommend doing with something like this would be to definitely try to aim for lower because if you do get it for like 56, 57, then the difference between that and 8,400 is definitely a lot better. Um, and then we can hit a lot closer to our margin that we're trying to get to. Okay, these next two items, I'm not gonna actually show you the graphs for them because I don't need to. I'm just gonna explain these items together because they are they are showing me the exact same thing. And these are fantastic examples. And whenever you see these two types of things, uh, actually there's just three types of things. There's actually three items I'm gonna show you. All three of these are amazing investments. And this is exactly the kind of thing that you want to try to find when possible. And that is gonna be the Wurgali potion, uh, the Yak Hide. And then if you look right here, um, Oops, <laughs> if you can look right here, these infernal magic incense sticks. So all, th all three of these had the exact same thing in common. And that is that I, I had to try to sell them for basically one gold for them to go away. This were golly unfinished, a hundred gold. <laughs> that is amazing. If I click on this, you look at the mid price of 87.53. Okay, that's insane. If you look at the, if you do look at the graphs for Wagali's, you will see that the the unfinished potions has a very strange graph. But the, this is definitely like, this is way lower than they've ever ever been. Um, and then also too, these have gone up to like 13,000 and stuff at some points. So no matter what, when you buy things like this, like you cannot lose money. Like there's no way these are ever going to, the, like they'll never go to this price. So whatever you're able to pick up at these super low numbers, definitely try to get it. The same thing with yak hides. Yak hides are used every single double XP. Um, the fact that I had to sell it for one gold just means that literally nobody else is buying them at that time. Uh, well, I guess the guy for one gold is, but um, that's it. That that You have no competition when it comes to those. So you can basically just try to buy for whatever you can. But here's the issue with that though. Um, I actually did buy some Wargalis myself and um, my offer, I took it out, which you can probably guess because I instantly sold this for a hundred. Um, but I originally had an offer in for about 3000 and it filled up one entire offer. And then my next offer never filled up past like 3000 of them. So that also tells me that not a lot of people are selling them. So we're going to on finish is just not traded very often right now. So just because you see this super low uh, bid right here, that doesn't mean you're going to get infinite amount of these. You're not going to buy 10 million of these for hundred each. It's just not going to happen. But I would recommend you try to see how many you can get. Now, my offer is definitely gone at 3000. I am not putting in 3000 again anymore because I realize now that I <laughs> probably could have bought them from even less. But if you bought them for 100, 110 or whatever, you're going to get some. And what I would do is I would just put, put that offer in there and then just slowly update it and then keep buying them as, as you rise. Um, that is going to be the best way to do it. 
These Infernal Incense Magic Sticks were the exact same way as the Wargali and the Yak. They did not sell for like 5 gold, so they would have been like a 1 GP thing. So what I instead decided to do for this video is to instantly buy the Infernal Magic Stick to show you where they're at as an instant buy. So as an instant buy, it's 4064 um, That is what I instantly bought this for. Um, the cool thing about this is that it just shows you that there's just there's just nobody buying these right now. It's pretty crazy. And these are the things that are used with Torstal and Fellstock incense sticks. It's extremely important you pay attention to the Torstal part because if we if we look right here and we go to Torstal, Torstal incense sticks. Now, now I'm I'm not I'm not editing a whole bunch of this because I want to show you guys all these prices live. I don't want you to be thinking like, oh man, Game is showing his fake prices. No, no, no. We're doing all this all live. So this Torstal incense sticks, right? I'm gonna try here. I'll go here and buy these. 13,501 is legit what they buy for right now. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna try to sell these. And then, boom, 11,773. So they have a really good margin on them, but as you can see, they do sell. They they have a value. They are not going to one gold. Um, so any amount of these that you can get is gonna be fantastic. And they will, uh, like at some points, the, the, the market will catch back up and people will start buying these again to make these. These Torsal Incense Sticks are the ones that give you the increase to XP gain. These are used all the time, and these are heavily used during double XP. It is not rare to see these go to close to 20,000 each during double XP. I've actually seen them above 20,000 each during double XP. So just because sometimes when you look at an item to invest in, like let's say you're looking at Torsal Incense Sticks to invest into these, just because sometimes you can't get these for a good price, look at the pieces that make them. Because even if you're not the one that's going to make them, somebody else is going to make them at some point, and then you can sell those to them. So I would not be surprised to honestly see 63.50 for the, the the average. I would not be surprised when uh, when these go above that average, like in the coming few weeks. So that is something else to look to too is like what items are linked to those items. Okay, moving on to the next one though. Let's look at the silver hawk feathers. So 21.93 was the instant sell on on silver hawk feathers. Now this is a very interesting one because we see 2519 as the mid and so our first our first thought is hey these are selling for quite a bit below mid so these must be really good let's look at the graph and i'll show you what's up with these on our way to the silver hawk feathers let's stop by those infernal magic incense sticks real quick because if you look right here this is the one year graph on these um these flat lines that make them look like stairs uh whenever you see this that means that an item is just not traded very often that means the ge just does not update very often so you'll also see this on the Rogali potions too where it just has like very flat looking graphs looks very different compared to something like like this mahogany plank how it looks like very bumpy um <coughs> sorry very bumpy means that it's updated very frequently like this changes a lot. So very flat means it just is very like it's 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 more rare. It's 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 very low volume. But as you can see, they've never ever gone below like 6000 or 5 like 5900 or whatever. Like they've never gone below that price. So when it's like, "Oh wow, why why are these selling for one gold?" Uh, I have absolutely no idea why they're selling for one gold. <laughs> okay, let's look at the silver hawk feathers. This is a very important one. This one right here is something that I would call a much riskier investment. Uh, and the reason why is because these are given out at pretty close to unknown variables because we do know that silver hawk feathers are given out uh, during certain promotions, such as the one right before double XP and stuff. Um, sometimes Jagex will change it to silver hawk downs and stuff like that, which is the non tradable version. Um, this is very dependent on Jagex's releases. So this is like, um, you know, RuneScape at any time could come out with an event, which will crash it down right here to 1400 each. Like it's pretty crazy. Or just drop all the way down to like something ridiculous, like 1500 right here, or back here when they were way lower. Even if we look at the six month graph, it's just not that reliable. We saw that they were buying them right now for, for basically this price right here, like just about 21, 21 something. So that was is, is way up here. They were recently right here at 1450. Now they've they've never been this low during a like a peak time, but during like a possible buy time, they have down they have gone down quite a bit. So what I want you to take from this is is two things, two things here. Um, for starters, this is something that could be risky because if you invest a large amount into these, like let's let's say you invest a large amount at the price they're currently sitting at, which was actually something about 2130. Um, if they dropped down to this, 
then you potentially could lose a quarter of your investment. And that is not good. That's not something you want to be looking at. Um, you can obviously wait it out and then they will jump back up. But even when they jump back up, if we pay 2130, if you look right here, like the highest peak on this entire graph on this whole six month thing is only 3079. That's not the best margin for something that has such a risk. So this is something that I would really, really put a lot of thought into before I've thought about investing into it. Um, because these are things that at any time could be re-released. They go way down. Um, Silver Rock Feathers used to be several thousand each too. Like as you look back here, they were like 30,000, 40,000. Like obviously that, that time is way past, but there's also a long period where they were in like the teens of thousands, like, like 15,000 roughly. And then now they're down like this low. So this is an item that Personally, I don't invest into these. Uh, I know a lot of people that do, but I personally don't do it because they really only seem to go down lately. Like the overall trend, like the main trend here is just overall going down over time because Jagex does seem to release them quite more often as we go along and we just have more ways of getting them. So unless I did see these at something quite a bit less than even where they're currently at, I wouldn't really recommend touching these too much. Um, and also they have a very low buy limit too, so they're super annoying to stock up. So obviously this video will have lots of things that are good to invest into, but I want to show you some things that even though they might seem good, I don't want you to lose money on things that might, you know, turn out to be bad. Okay, next up on the menu is going to be our clean Arbucks. So this is another one that's very interesting. Um, and I'm gonna show you some things about this one. So <clears throat> it looks like we got 14892 was our instant sell. And as you can see, the GE mid is 15671. So once again, our right off the bat, we do think this looks really good compared to those two because I mean, this looks fantastic. And a real quick, a real quick note on these two is that whenever I see something that sells for quite a bit less than mid, so this is a, a, a bulk supply that is selling for almost a thousand under for the instant sell. I will definitely stretch this and I would highly, highly recommend you stretch this. So what I mean is like I was talking about before, where if you're able to buy something, then maybe offer less and then offer less and offer less. When I see something like this, I'm immediately going to be offering less, like quite a bit less. Like I would probably start off at like 14,000. Like that is how much less. You could even potentially go lower than that. But the reason why is because usually when things are below the mid by that much, um, they're just, they're, they're, they're going down pretty hard. And so that means that you can usually snipe some of the stuff at the bottom. I don't want to be sniping stuff at the top because then I'm going to be overpaying. And here is our Arbuck graph. So the Arbuck graph, um, as you could probably tell right away, is not giving us good news. So if we see right here, um, the item has gone up above what we saw for the instant sell by like, I don't know, close to 3,000 gold if we were if we were actually to pay 14,000. But if we look right down here, we can see the Arbuck was a lot less and not that long ago. Um, even, even, even closer to our current time period, it's like, it's yeah, it's just right there. Um, this is an item that I probably would not invest into. And that is just because quite simply, the numbers on here show that the current buy price is nowhere near the uh, six, even the six month low. If you look at the one year though, our price does look a lot better, like quite a bit better. Um, it actually looks like our price is like something you can't even find for like a very long period of time. But remember what I said about looking at the current meta, the current game, um, this is what we're looking at, and given our most recent information, uh, there's not really anything saying that this couldn't dive down again. So I would probably prioritize investing into other things and avoiding this because it kind of looks more like a trap. Okay, our last item for today is going to be the Mahogany Plank. So Mahogany Planks is a very interesting one because a lot of people are really focusing on construction lately. Um, so I was very excited to see that these were selling for below the mid. So 1934 was that market price and then 1756 is what they are currently instantly, instantly selling for. Also, Mahogany Planks have been like an all-time favorite for double XP investing for as long as I can remember because they are the main thing people use for construction. So there's something that will always have a demand. And then also too, um, they do have a very large buy limit compared 
compared to a lot of other items. A lot of potions, well most potions have a buy limit of 1000, so having a buy limit of 10k is pretty awesome. About the only thing you get really investing into that looks better than this is like something like runes because they have a 25,000 limit, but 10,000 is awesome. That is a very solid amount to invest into. That is some, something else that you should, be, you should be considering when you are looking at what to invest into is how many per four hours you can buy. Because if you are not working with alts, then items that have a much lower buy limit are gonna be a much larger pain to invest into, like something such as Vizwax. If we look at the Vizwax buy limit, it has a buy limit of only 500. Um, items like this tend to be very difficult to invest into because uh, trying to get enough of them by the time that the prices um, are going to change. Like right now is like one of the best times to invest, right? Well, how long is it going to take you to buy 100,000 of these or whatever if you are only able to buy 500 at a time? So the prices might change before you actually get your total investment done. So that is something to look at too. Uh, so Mahogany Planks are ideal for the amount to invest into. They also have really good history. Let's take a look at their graph. So this graph is a little bit harder to read. Um, so I'm gonna I'm going to explain how I would look at this. Um, so the reason why it's hard to read is because it's it's all it's a very flat graph actually. Um, the price differences are are not that large here. Um, so when it comes to like something very obvious, this is definitely not it. <laughs> um, so if we look at the one year, we can see that for a vast majority of time, the 17 the 17 like and a half range that we just saw is gonna be kind of the average. Like that's is so right now they'd be at like the average price. If you look at the six month though, it is looking like we're actually able to buy them a little bit below average, which is pretty fantastic. Like I said, people are really focusing on construction uh, right now, so I do uh, expect to see the trends of the price of planks and stuff to continue going up, um, or at least staying in this higher range compared to what it was uh, like, like a year ago and a year and a half ago. So if we look at also the peaks of when they have spiked up, uh, remember the graph plays catch up. So this is something above 2224. This is something above 2663. Um, so when I see a, I'm able to buy them for about 17 and a half, I think that's actually a pretty good price to pick them up at because it is um, definitely below. It's about 300 GP below the current 30 day average, which is pretty fantastic. Um, and as we see here, where it kind of bottomed out on the graph at this point and then starting to rise up again, we do see that they're probably going to pop back up to this average over here. Um, uh, this is one of those items though. This is definitely one of those items that I not quite sure if we're going to be hitting our 30%. Um, it's, it's possible, but this is something that is very solid. So this is one of those things where I'm not going to go for the biggest margin ever, but I know that it's going to be a consistent and solid safe money. I don't really see them going below the price that we're currently seeing at because even the current, like the, the lowest point they've ever been in the last six months is 1652 on the graph. And that was only for like a short blip and then they jump right back up. So overall, this looks like a very solid item to invest into. I'm definitely gonna be buying into Mahogany Planks, but this is one of those things that I would buy these after I have already invested into a lot of the other things that will earn me more money. So that is kind of what I was talking about where it comes to prioritizing what you buy. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Um, it was really fun to make this guide because I've been looking at these prices for quite a bit lately. Uh, we spent a lot of time in the Discord, so not a lot of videos coming out, but let's get those videos rolling again. Uh, be sure to enter in our giveaway. We're gonna be doing a giveaway every day for the rest of this month, so that there's lots of chances for you to earn some gold. Um, all you gotta do is make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below of what you'd like to invest into, and if you're not investing, how come? Um, also too, if you have other ideas of things you'd like to uh, invest into, like you've got some stuff that, man, you, you think they're just really good investments, feel free to share those for other people to use. Join our Discord server, we have about 10,000 people in there, so we'd love to have you in there. And then as always, if you guys have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, then feel free to put them in the comments and I will try to get them out for you. I'll see you guys in the next one, have a good one.